A former UC Davis student turned suspected serial killer. Tonight, the accused killer will go to bed behind bars. But before the murders, Carlos Dominguez was a UC Davis student and a former honor roll student. So how did he become a suspected serial killer? CBS 13's Tori Abadaka joins us live from the Davis Police Department getting answers about the suspect tonight. Tori. Carlos Dominguez had just failed out of UC Davis two days before that deadly stabbing spree. And we spoke with people who knew Dominguez back in high school, and they say they never could have imagined him carrying out violent attacks like this. So that means what changed? Out of all the people I've coached, I wouldn't have thought he would do something like that. Those are the words of Carlos Dominguez's former Castlemont High School football coach, James Barnes. Another goal is to become better um, persons in life. That was Dominguez six years ago, talking on Castlemont football's Instagram page about the goals he had for the season. He wasn't that aggressive of a football player and never had any anger issues or discipline issues on the field. But Dominguez could soon be facing the highest discipline possible either life without the possibility of parole or the death penalty. This was him in court Friday, accused of two deadly stabbings and one attempted murder. In high school, Dominguez was pictured and profiled in an Oakland Unified School District mentoring in medicine and science program. He said he aspired to be a doctor. His academic experience is no joke. It was probably very hard to get in. Dominguez had transferred from Laney College in Oakland to UC Davis in 2020. The biological science major had failed out of UC Davis just two days before the first deadly attack. Dr. Robert Shug, a serial killer expert, gave us insight into what may have switched. If he's pre-med, there's probably a lot of expectations. Standards are very high, so perhaps a lot of stress and anxiety. When police found Dominguez, he was in the same outfit witnesses said he was wearing during the violent attacks. Why? that he's not paying attention to like personal hygiene. He's not taking care of himself. And these might be signs of, you know, mental health problems or perhaps substance use. Former high school classmates of Dominguez tell CBS 13 he was outgoing and always smiling. Now they say this face of a suspected serial killer is unrecognizable. Police say that Dominguez had been living here in Davis for several years now, and we are still working to learn if his roommates knew anything about these brutal killings and if they will also be charged. It's worth pointing out. Police have told us, Tori, that he did not know his alleged victims as well. Thank you, Tori, live from Davis Police. CBS 13 confirmed today immigration is now involved in Dominguez's case. That's right. According to an official with ICE, Dominguez is from El Salvador, came to the U.S. as an unaccompanied minor around the age of seven. And as Tori mentioned, the DA filed an enhancement that will make this case eligible for either life without parole or the death penalty, but he could also face deportation. We're learning ICE has placed a detainer on him with Yolo County, so they could take custody of him and deport him should he be released. If he is sentenced to life without parole or the death penalty. It's unlikely he would be released, but not impossible. Lots of moving parts with us. As you know, we've been following the Davis stabbings investigation since the beginning. To see our full coverage, go to our website, cbs13.com.